We spent the past eight months fixing up this abandoned old trawler that we bought for $100. We were finally ready enough to head north towards the Pacific Northwest, but our first day out in the Pacific Ocean, our freshwater pump broke on our port engine. We were able to get the part quick enough to stay inside this incredibly calm weather window, and we made it all the way to Westport, Washington. In this video, we continue north and hopefully make it into the Salish Sea. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is a high-protein, zero-sugar cereal that tastes just like your childhood breakfast. It's cereal reinvented. Magic Spoon cereals are grain-free, gluten-free, keto-friendly, and do not contain any corn syrups or sugar alcohols. With 13 to 14 grams of protein per serving, Magic Spoon helps fuel your body and helps keep you satisfied for hours. My favorite is peanut butter. And if you're feeling really wild, you can combine the cocoa with the peanut butter to get some peanut butter cup goodness. Start your new year off with some Magic Spoon and click the link below. Use Tula for $5 off your very own variety box. And choose from Magic Spoon's best-selling flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cookies and cream, and maple waffle. Plus other awesome flavors including blueberry muffin and cinnamon roll. Magic Spoon is so confident in this product that it's backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below and use code TULA for $5 off. Or go to magicspoon.com slash TULA for $5 off your order today. For all you Canadians and Brits out there, Magic Spoon ships to Canada and the UK. Thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoy this one. Making. I'm making fish for lunch. Rockfish. First you have red. I'm gonna turn them into rockfish dogs. How rough is it out right now? Well, I don't think you could get any calmer. I was telling Billy, this is like Florida in the summer. Like, it looks like a lake. Very grateful. Very grateful for calmness. We woke up early this morning, got out of the, we were out of the inlet by 6, I believe, out of the dock by like 5.30. So we have two stops we could make today. The first one is La Push. It's actually only like five miles away up here, but we're probably going to just keep going all the way around the tip of the Olympic Peninsula, which this whole thing right here is the Olympic Peninsula, around the bend, and then there's another anchorage, probably another, I don't know, 50 miles from here or something called Nia Bay. And this whole area is actually like Indian reservation. At least I know La Push and the Nia Bay both are. So I think we'll be able to get into Nia Bay by like before 8 p.m. Once we round this point, the very tip of the Olympic Peninsula here will be in the Straits of Juan de Fuca. Follow that and you get all the way back up into the San Juan Islands or Seattle or Tacoma, like that whole area. Once we're in the Straits of Juan de Fuca, we're basically out of the Pacific Ocean at that point. It can still get nasty in there, obviously, but we're not in the open ocean, not in the open Pacific. So it'll be great to round this point, just get into the Straits and then we're like basically home free. This trip has been absolutely... <laughs> say it when we get there oh okay. man first time ever making a rockfish i turned it into a rockfish dog for you i hope you enjoy thank you
Okay, the land behind us right here that you can see is officially Canada. That is Vancouver Island. The lighthouse over here is marking Cape Flattery and we are about to turn the point and officially be out of the Pacific Ocean and in the Salish Sea. We could not have had, I can officially say it, any better weather. Honestly, I don't think the Pacific Ocean gets any calmer than right here. And this is how it was for the entire time. I was super nervous for this trip because when we started mentioning it online, we got so many messages. Oh, that coast is so dangerous. There's nowhere to go in. You guys shouldn't be doing this. You should just truck the boat up there. And I know for ourselves, we do a lot of work to make sure the boat is ready and can handle it. We do a lot of research on where we can bail out if we need to. And we do a lot of research on the weather. So like, I know we can do it, but like getting those comments makes it scary. Like what if something happens? But it did it and we did it. We'll let him keep sleeping and enjoy the moment when he wakes up. Three, two, one. Through the orifice. Not yet. Are you ready? For what? This is a big moment. Around and keep flattering. We're about to turn. Woo! <laughs> Ready? Go. The moment we've been waiting for. That's it. We're out of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> we did it! got a text that says welcome to Canada. I didn't for, cross the line. For full details on your international travel plan, please contact your oh, no, they better not be charging account them. administrator. All right, we just rounded Cape Flattery, which is right here, the very tip of the Olympic Peninsula. Behind me over on this side, is Vancouver Island. Probably not even a mile away is Canadian waters. Right behind me this way is the Pacific Ocean that we just came from. And the Straits of Juan de Fuca right here is the very beginning of what they call the Salish Sea, which includes Puget Sound, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and the Strait of Georgia up in that direction. What we'll find this way is all the rest of Seattle, Port Townsend, Tacoma, Gig Harbor, like all those towns of San Juan Islands. Anacortes, Bellingham, all that stuff. Sierra is so excited that she we are out of the Pacific Ocean and we made it all the way up here. <laughs> She's been bouncing off the walls a little bit and sure enough, <laughs> she fell down the stairs on her way. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, <laughs> but you're laughing. So she you're fell down the stairs on her way down to use the restroom and she hurt her hand. Now I have to carry around a bag of frozen meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you broke it? I don't think I broke a finger, but if anything broke, it's like a bone right here. But the good news is we made it. High five with your good hand. 
Now what? Let's explore the Pacific Northwest. Wow, blue hole! Yeah, that's loud. Woohoo! Oh, whale tail! We're in the Straits of Juan de Fuca right now in the Salish Sea. That's the Olympic Peninsula right over there, and there's a bunch of whales around us. One is right over here somewhere. Right there, look! Whoa. Wow! I don't think they're the orcas that Sierra's been looking for, but still so cool. Whoa! Whoa. Look at that! Wow! Whoa. Oh, beautiful! Oh my goodness, that was so close! Also, it is as calm as calm can be. It's warm, so pretty much the most perfect weather you could ever imagine. Surrounded by whales! That was cool. Look how beautiful it yeah, is right now. It's crazy. Are you having fun? Yeah, are your whales body? Wow, that's so cool. Oh, do you see him, Liam? Yeah. He's going! Oh, look at them. They're, they're like two feet big. Tiny little dolphin, huh? They're like mini. We haven't seen any big dolphin in this area on this whole trip. They've all been pretty small. No, because I think the, the bigger ones are the... Remember how we learned the difference between dolphin and porpoise? Yeah. These are dolphin. No, yeah, they're por remember, harbor porpoise, not bottlenose dolphin. No, the, those are the bigger ones, I thought. Because those look, look like they, they had a bottled nose, like a bottlenose dolphin. No, these guys look like a much flatter nose. I think these are harbor porpoises. Or is it harbor seal? <laughs> we have no idea. We're all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> go on. What? Hey, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want to do? Come on, jump into my hands. Jump into my arms. <laughs>